Hello, beautiful souls. And this also could be someone who is in a King of Wands reversed energy as well. So, they may have been dishonest in the past or, spiritually speaking, you may have this cosmic intelligence, this sense that you cannot fully openly trust this person, even though I feel you have a lot of care for them. You seem to have this cosmic sense that they are struggling with their own demons, so to speak, their own shadows, and that possibly you cannot fully trust them completely. I almost feel like you may have to filter some of what you say around them, or it's almost like you can't be entirely open with this person. This is speaking to one of those dynamics, by the way, where it feels like you have to keep your heart chakra closed a little bit in order to connect with them more physically. Like when you're around this person, you might start to feel your heart close off a little bit. This isn't you or something that you're doing. This is an effect that they seem to be having on you. They make you naturally feel very self-protective, possibly even defensive when you're around them. And with the Ten of Swords reversed, I am again getting that sense of it's almost like abandoning, running away. You may have needed to just drop this situation or let go of this person for the time being, or this might be something that you're contemplating doing. I feel like there's a level of guilt wrapped up here on your end for some reason when it comes to this particular person, regardless of the connection or relationship that you have with them. I do want to channel a bit more on that. So, what is that feeling of guilt coming up here? Okay, release the guilt and step into your power with Goddess of the Moon upright. This does feel like a hyper-specific reading, but for whoever this is for, you are being called to look at the bigger picture of you. You as this all-encompassing, goddess-esque, powerful manifesting being that you are. I almost feel like being around this person might make you forget certain aspects of who you are. You might feel disempowered in their presence, and I see you being called up to your power here. Yeah, we also have door to spirit upright. So again, this sense of spiritual awakening, keeping your eyes set on this grander vision of your life. It's almost as though perhaps pushing against this situation hasn't been working, or it's been very triggering on both sides. But I feel your guides saying instead of pushing against or trying to fight against anything here, allow yourself to simply expand and evolve out of it. So, in a sense, woe, Right as I said that we have the Yin Yang card, which is my number one twin flame card in the deck. This may even be a very complex twin flame dynamic. This person could be a twin flame catalyst, meaning a twin flame specifically sent into your life to rattle you awake spiritually, to create a lot of upheaval and ego death, massive amounts of change. From Divine Muscular Type Yes if you believe.